The Eskimo Escape series flip over ice houses are designed for the avid ice angler to handle whatever mother nature will throw at you. That's right. Personally, I love the Escape series houses. Uh, there's a lot of great features that we're going to show you in this video, so stay tuned. We're talking about the 2800 and the 2600. Let's check it out. So Nelson, sitting down, the first thing I notice is all this space to fish. I mean, I can get holes in front of me, I can get buckets, my three-year-old in the corner. I mean, with, with this house, we got 27 fishable square feet. I know the 28 series is right mm -hmm. around that 30 square feet of fishable area, but you definitely get a lot of room in here. And so that's funny, because that's not the first thing I notice. The first thing I notice is how tall the ceiling is, right? Mm -hmm. How many times do you go to set your hook? I've got long arms, I set a long hook. You know, how many times, and then you hit the ceiling, because you hit the ceiling, you lost your fish because you weren't able to set the hook well enough. Absolutely. You know, so that's what I noticed. I mean, so I'm six foot one, and I'm just barely scraping the top, right? Barely hitting it. Um, and something else to consider when we're talking about this, you know, about the top, is it has that new storm shield insulation on it. So tell me a little bit about that. Absolutely. So Eskimo's newly designed storm shield fabric basically is their technology that reduces condensation within the house. We've all been in the ice houses before where you go to set the hook, you stand up, you hit the side, and all of a sudden it's raining on you. You won't get that. My boys always think that's funny when it rains on them, though. <laughs> but, but yeah, that's what's really nice about it is, A, it's very well insulated, uh, but B, it allows the moisture to escape while still retaining your heat. Absolutely. So really cool, that Storm Shield stuff. So uh, the next feature about this, uh, tell us about the sidewalls here, what you're seeing. The sidewalls with the side doors. Um, no longer are you tripping over your holes or your buckets or your rods in front of you trying to get out of the house. Uh, their side door technology enables you to easily move out of the house without tri tripping over anything or falling in the hole. Yeah, and so when you get this, what's going to happen? So you have these here. Uh, when you get this, what you've got to do is you're going to have to move this all the way up here, right? All the way up. It's hard to do when we're fully set up like this. Uh, and that's going to allow the front to pop down and then you condense everything together and get it flipped over. And what's nice about these is how easy these are to adjust, right? There's no big button or small buttons they have to push. It's just this little clip here that allows you to move it, pull out of the hole, and then get it clipped right back into place. Another thing that I want to touch on is... Uh, the actual interior color itself. Mm. Uh, they went with this light gray, which enables people, it's a lot easier to see in here. I mean, you're still blocking out lights, so even if you're fishing in shallower water, sightseeing and everything, you're not affecting the, what you're viewing down there, but you're still able to see up here with limited light source. Mm -hmm. Something else is these great chairs, right? Yes. So what, what's nice about the chairs is they're not super cushy, right? They're not, they're not like super comfortable, if you will. They don't feel like they're comfortable to sit in, but Eskimo has worked with tree stand manufacturers to develop a chair that is best suited to reduce leg fatigue. You know, that fatigue when you're sitting for four or five hours in the back of your legs, it just starts to hurt. These chairs help reduce that better than any other chair out there right now. It's, it's outstanding. They're really, really nice. And also, you know, you can move them, right? So if I start to smell bad as the day goes, <laughs> you know, Alice sitting next to me can push me over a little bit when I like go out for a walk or something, you Absolutely. know, super nice. And then they just, they just pop right up like this to be able to storm away. And as you can see in the back here, uh, to get them out, you just have to unhook the clamp there and you can pull them right out. So that if you wanted to throw in the back of your truck for travel or something else, you can absolutely do that. And they go back and forth just that far. So another thing in, that you're seeing here is this little guy. So you have your cup holder built in. You have a little spot for your keys, is that a your change. tackle change. box I see? Yes, there's a small tackle box. It doesn't have anything in there, but a small tackle box to be able to fit uh, anything you need. You know, if you wanted to throw some pliers in there or something, you can certainly do that. And when you're ready to go, just pop right it back away. down. Mm -hmm. We do have a couple of nice other things back here. You know, every window has this nice zipper system on it. And then it has a little bit of Velcro to be able to get in and out there. And then you have the pouches in the back here that we've got the manuals in, but you have the pouches in the back here that you can fully zip that close to, to store whatever you need. 
and of course you have your you know your wind poles and everything like that uh, that hold it here but then also hold up the front nicely uh, to keep it as tall as it can be uh, so when you're out fishing and not to mention all the other accessories that you can get to adapt mm. to this house yes. so light bars lighting eskimo has it so mm -hmm. and so we've been talking mostly about the 2600 basically what you're going to get with the 2800 it's just more fishable space yep. bigger sled uh, more room in here in general it's still a two-man hut um, it's just a bigger setup so if you would like that little bit bigger uh, ride that's probably going to be, be the way to go. Uh, when we are looking at these, a lot of people are using these uh, just tow behind, right? Uh, you're not really dragging these out per se. You can, uh, but they're pretty heavy. They're pretty big. And so I really encourage you, especially if you are going to drag it out, to get the Hyfax runner kit, to get a tow hitch for it uh, if you're using a snowmobile sure. or a four-wheeler, uh, and then also the cover as well. What's nice about the cover is it doesn't just keep all the bad stuff out. It keeps the good stuff in. I hate hearing about people that lost their Vexlar out the back of their sled when they're snowmobiling down the lake and they're five miles in. Now they have to track back to try to find that, you know, and then was it damaged? You know, I've heard of stories of, it be, of their of equipment being yes. damaged happening like that, too. So really encourage you to get the travel covers as well. So. Absolutely. So there you have it. That's an overview of both the 26 and the 2800 of the Eskimo Escape Series. Now we hope this video helps you make a more informed decision because our goal is to give you the best service, the best advice, and the best price. Now to get that best price, come on into the store in Walker Onamia uh, in Minnesota here. Uh, give us a call if you have any questions, 800-346-0019. Or visit us online at reedsports.com. Take care guys, we'll talk to you soon.